we're going to use three different ways to solve 32 times 46. And one of the ways we're going to do um, it is we're going to use arrays. And so we're going to make the array for 32. Thirty-two times forty-six. Now, typically, we would do thirty-two times forty-six, but we don't know how to do that in our head, so we're going to make thirty plus two be this side, and we can make that two, and this side will be forty plus six. So now this is the array for thirty times. 40. This is the array of 2 times 40, and this one is 30 times 6, and this corner one is 2 times 6. So, this 30 times 40 will be 3 times 4, which is 12, and then times 10 and times 10, which means times 100, so we can put this. The kids have learned the shortcut that you can count the zeros and add them, and then it still works out. So this one will be 2 times 4, which is 8, and add the one zero at the end because we're multiplying by tens. Um, 30 times 6, so 3 times 6 is 100, or is 18. Add the 0 from the 30 is 180. And then the last one is going to be 2 times 6. Now, if the kids get confused on where to go, you um, or which numbers to multiply, I always say, take your fingers and put them in the box and go one straight up and one straight over. And I, I put my 2 in a bad place for that. But, so for this one, we're multiplying... 30 and 6. And then so for this one, we're going to multiply 2 times 6, which is 12. We've done many steps to get to this point, so they should know that by now. And then at this point, we're just going to add all of those numbers together. Some kids like to add it down and say 1,380, 80 plus 12 is 92, and then to add those two, so 92, 2, 16, 17, 17. and then we have our answer. Okay. Um, another way to do this is partial products. And for partial products, we write the um, problem this way, kind of old school, like we learned. Um, but we solve it kind of the same way we do here. But they've moved out of using the visual of the array here, and they just do the multiplication um, from here. So they start with the tens or the ones, it doesn't matter where they start. So here we're going to start 6 times 2, we could do, and that's 12. And then we can multiply, it. again, it doesn't matter, but what they usually do will mark that they've already done those two. So they know where they've taken care of the ones place. Then they might multiply the tens place. Now this represents 30, not 3. This represents 40. So 30 times 40 is 1,200. And they already, again, these kids, they understand this already, and they're kind of moving into this direction. Um, so we've done those. And now I need to multiply this 30 times this 6. So the 30 times the 6 is 180. So I've done those. And then I need to multiply the 40 times the 2, because all the parts of this get multiplied together. So 40 times 2 is 80. And again, if we add those, we see that those are the same numbers, 1,200. 180, 80, and 12. We add them all together. I'll do my math again. 16, 17, 4, and so we should have 1472. Doesn't matter what order they do these, as long as they're keeping track of which ones they've done so that they don't have to, um, so they don't get mixed up and I just put my column in the wrong place. Okay. And then the last one is the good old fashioned algorithm that we learned as kids, or many of us learned as kids this way, and we teach the kids pretty much the same way we learned, 6 times 2, so we multiply the ones first, 6 times 2 is 12, and we regroup the 1, 6 times 3 is 18, 19, okay, and then we don't just say put a place marker or skip this spot, we say now we've multiplied by the 1s, now we're going to multiply it by the 10s, and there's this number represents 40, and so since it represents 40, and we know that trick that when you multiply a number by tens, you can add that zero at the end. We go ahead and start with just putting that zero there. And now it allows us to multiply by the digit of four instead of 40. So four times two is eight, and four times three, and hopefully they've remembered that that part's not going to be, that that was from the regrouping of the six, 
um, we did teach them to put the to line through it. Four times three is twelve. I'm going to put that there, and we get um, our same answer. Okay. And if you notice, again, the kids, if they've done it this way, um, or it depends on how they add it across. A lot of times, they'll notice how that works, how it matches up over here. So that's the three different ways we've done. We call it this algorithm. Um, for not algebra, but algorithm, um, so in, or some teachers call it uh, regrouping because there's regrouping going on. So um, those are the three ways on in my class and I know at our school, we don't care how they solve it. Some kids are still working on this as long as they understand the concept, we're good with that. Some this works for it and some are here. Yes, it's considered a shortcut, but for some kids being able to do this, we're happy with that. Eventually they'll get to the shortcut. So. There you go.